We are getting into some of the coldest days of winter, right? But not the snowiest, which is an easy way to get kids outside typically. But even in low temperatures, there are benefits to getting outdoors and that fresh air for families. Christy Howard Schultz is joining me this morning and has some ideas to get the kids to play outside all year round. Good morning to you. Good morning, Drew. So glad Happy to have you. Uh, yeah, obviously, we ha we get less sunlight these days, but that shouldn't stop us, right? Yes, yeah. It's really hard to motivate yourself, or at least speaking personally, to go outside when the temperatures are so low and it's not so sunny. But there are so many benefits, and um, and it's really necessary to take a break from all the screen time that we have, from e-learning and from working on a computer all day. Um, and so I just wanted to share some of the things that we've been doing uh, to tempt and uh, encourage the kids to stay outside, get out there and stay out there for longer. Who doesn't love stuff that glows in the dark? And you said that could entice your kiddos. Yeah, so as you said, this is not the sunniest time of year. Um, it's dark, I believe, right now for over 15 hours a day. Um, and even on the sunny days in daylight, it is often completely you know, foggy or overcast. Um, and so we've been tempting our boys with anything glow in the dark. So glow sticks, laser tag, um, anything that you can, it's dark all the time. And for some reason that's more exciting to them. And changing scenery can just do a lot to make any activity special. You suggest repurposing an outdoor space in what ways? Yeah, so um, sometimes like being outside, like you said, it's not just about being active and actually getting outdoors, but you know, you can build a racetrack in your garage or a Lego table or um, put a space heater, you know, on the back porch and have a picnic. Um, anything you can to just like change the space, you know. This has been one of my go to's with my group of friends because thankfully they're outdoorsy people anyway, but we just proved on Monday we went for a hike at Eagle Creek and we said, hey, these layers and the winter gear exists for a reason. We can go out and make use of cold weather. Yes, there's um, no bad weather, only bad clothes. So yeah, bundling up. Um, We've been spending a lot of time at Central Park and Carmel where the restrooms are spotless and heated, but there's beautiful muskrat habitats. There's animals that are very active. Um, you know, you can go for miles and miles, three or four miles in paved spaces um, like you did with your friends at Eagle Creek if you're not into getting muddy. Um, if you are into getting muddy, you can go anywhere. Um, but yeah, definitely getting out and exploring. It's good for us, right? Yeah, and there's so many great places too. And hey, if it's cold enough, then you don't have to worry about mud because the ground is frozen. Yeah. Um, one of your points you make in your article is to bribe as needed. Some kids really need to be talked into this with maybe a treat. Yeah, so actually lots of the, the parents in the group um, kind of contributed to this idea, but you know, using hand warm warmers, um, we tempt the bo our boys with having a, ch a hot chocolate bubble bath, so they get to drink hot chocolate in the bubble bath. Um, you know, whatever the thing is that works for you and your family to make it fun and 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 have something to look forward to for the time after you spend outside. If it's hard to get them out there, don't let the creative juices freeze. Right, All right. Christy Howard Schultz. <laughs> thanks so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you, Drew. It's 927. More Daybreak after this.